safety is a hot topic all year long, not just in the summer. There are many ways to learn how to stay safe around and in a pool. Don't run on the deck, don't leave children unattended, don't mess with the lifeguards. But one area of pool safety that doesn't get a lot of attention is pool chemical safety. And that's what we're here to talk about. If you're watching this video, you're probably responsible for maintaining your pool's chemical levels. Whether you're the manager in a gym or aquatic club, a lifeguard at a community pool, or a homeowner with a backyard pool, you have a very important job. We all know that chemicals are usually needed to keep a swimming pool healthy and enjoyable by maintaining water quality and to protect the health and safety for swimmers by killing germs. There are many threats to a healthy pool, from letting algae and bacteria take its course to little kids and whatever natural things they may do. If chemicals are not properly added, we may end up with this instead of this. It may sound easy to keep a pool healthy, but there are a lot of things you need to know to keep yourself and your swimmers safe. You may already have had training in proper chemical handling, or you may be new to pool ownership. Either way, we'll go over what the chemicals are and their potential hazards, how to handle and store them, and what you should do if something goes wrong. There are many factors that determine how much and what kind of chemicals you'll use for your specific pool. And you should have received those instructions from your manager or installer. We're here to show you how to stay safe while using them. So if you're ready, let's dive in. You should know the chemicals you are storing and handling. One thing is very important. Always follow the manufacturer's directions by reading and understanding the information on the product labels. We'll probably say that a few times. Pool chemicals are used to disinfect the water and kill germs that would be harmful to swimmers. Most common disinfectants are chlorine-based products, such as calcium hypochlorite, a solid, and sodium hypochlorite, which is a liquid. When these compounds are added to the pool water, the active ingredient, chlorine, reacts with the water to kill the germs. These chlorine compounds are reactive, so they can be dangerous if misused. But with careful preparation and by paying attention, all of these chemicals are safe to handle and use. The chlorine-containing product you'll handle will most likely be in liquid, granular, or tablet form. This is important to know, as you'll see in a minute. The chlorine is concentrated. Only a little bit goes a long way in killing germs. Think about it. How much chemical do you add to the pool versus the amount of water in the pool? Chlorine can also be highly reactive with other chemicals. Even mixing different chlorine products can lead to hazardous reactions. The most serious of these reactions can be life-threatening. So it's extremely important to pay attention to how pool chemicals are stored to avoid any unwanted reactions. So here's what you need to know in order to store pool chemicals safely. Always read the labels on the chemical packaging and follow the manufacturer's directions for storage. Always follow directions carefully. Do not cut corners. Make sure the storage room or area is well ventilated. Even properly stored chemicals can give off dust or fumes when opened. If your pool uses dry chemicals, make sure they stay dry. Simply getting any pool chemicals wet, even in the rain, can result in a chemical gas release. It's recommended you keep bags or containers of pool chemicals off of the floor in a clean, secure, and dry area to keep your pool storage facility safe. Make sure chemicals are stored in a cool area and out of direct sunlight. Many pool chemicals can degrade when exposed to ultraviolet light from the sun and become unstable. Make sure all chemicals are well packaged and clearly labeled in the manufacturer's original packaging. You don't want any leaks from the chemical packaging, so make sure the containers are not cracked, do not have holes, and are securely closed. Never reuse containers. Many chemicals are not compatible and should never be stored next to or above one another. Ideally, they will be stored in separate rooms. For example, 
acids and chlorine products should not be stored close together. If separate storage areas are not available, make sure there's plenty of space between them. Liquid chemicals and dry chemicals should not be stored near each other. There should be sufficient space between them. And liquids should never be stored above dry chemicals, period. Leaks from liquid chemical containers can react with incompatible materials stored beneath them. Even if you think the liquid container is tight, there may be some leftover liquid on the outside that could drip down into the dry chemicals. Let's say it again. Never store liquid products above other chemicals. And obviously, keep all chemicals out of the reach of children and animals. And no one should be allowed in the storage room without proper training and permission. And did we mention that you need to read, understand, and carefully follow the directions on the manufacturer's labels? Another important document you should study is the safety data sheet, or SDS, for each chemical you handle. The SDS provides you with information on procedures for handling the chemical in a safe manner, its potential health effects, how to properly store the chemical, what protective equipment you should use when handling it, and what to do if there's a spill. This is an important document and something you should study carefully before you handle a chemical. If you don't know where it is, ask your manager. They can also be found online. So let's go over what we learned. Here's what you need to know in order to store pool chemicals safely. chemicals, be sure to take steps to protect yourself. Always read the entire product label and follow the manufacturer's directions. Always protect yourself with the right personal protective equipment. Protect your eyes with goggles or safety glasses with side shields. Protect your hands by wearing chemical resistant gloves. Avoid breathing dust or fumes to protect your lungs. Remember to handle chemicals in a well-ventilated area. If you must add a powdered chemical to the pool, make sure the wind is blowing away from you. Remember not to eat or drink in the chemical storage area and while handling chemicals. Common items such as cola can trigger a reaction with pool chemicals. Carefully open chemical containers or packaging to minimize splashes, dust, and fumes. Open and use only one product at a time and be sure you close one container tightly before opening another. You also don't want to cross-contaminate any equipment used for pool chemicals. Handling and feeding equipment should be dedicated to one chemical. This includes scoops, buckets, and dispensing equipment of any kind. In other words, don't use the same scoop for all chemicals. This also means you should not add a chemical to a feeder that still contains remnants of another chemical. Check and recheck to make sure you are using the right equipment with the right chemicals to prevent accidental mixing of chemicals. Pre-dissolve pool chemicals only if and when it's directed by the product label. If the product label directs you to pre-dissolve, add the pool chemical to water as directed in the manufacturer's instructions. Never add water to pool chemicals because a reaction can occur. If you follow all these precautions, take your time, pay attention, and follow the manufacturer's directions, you'll go a long way in preventing accidents. But accidents can happen. We're human after all. Chemical spills are serious business, but keeping an accident under control and reducing the risk of injury means acting quickly. Always respond to pool chemical spills immediately. Do not wait to act. Doing nothing or putting it off even for a few minutes can increase the risk of someone getting hurt. 
follow your pool's emergency chemical spill response plan, and be sure to tell management of any spills right away. Remember, improperly handled pool chemicals can be corrosive and can potentially cause burns, injure your lungs, and in extreme cases, be fatal. If you splash pool chemicals in your eyes, immediately flush them with a large amount of water in a sink or eye wash station for at least 15 minutes. Hold your eyelids open under clean running water to flush the chemicals out. Don't rub your eyes. This could make the situation worse and damage your eyesight. Ask someone to help you if you can. If you splash pool chemicals on your skin, immediately remove any contaminated clothing and thoroughly flush the affected area with large amounts of water in a sink or shower. If no shower is available, seek help and get into the pool if it's the safer alternative. Always store and use pool chemicals in a well-ventilated area. But if you accidentally inhale fumes, immediately move to clean air and alert someone of the gas release. Remember, if you splash chemicals in your eyes or on your skin, or if you inhale fumes, call the Poison Control Center or 911. Don't wait. Your health and life and those around you may depend on it. So let's go over what we learned. Know your chemicals. Always read the manufacturer's labels and study the safety data sheets before using the chemicals. Know what to do before an accident happens. Don't try to figure this out while it's happening. Always follow directions carefully. Do not allow chemicals to mix. Store them in a secure, dry area off the floor. Do not store any liquids above dry chemicals. Remember that chlorine is a reactive chemical and can cause vigorous reactions in fumes if mixed with other chemicals. Always use protective equipment when handling pool chemicals. Protect your eyes, skin, and lungs. Take your time. Don't rush anything from opening the containers to applying the chemicals. You don't want to end up evacuating the building and having the fire department show up because you tried to cut corners. React immediately, as trained, if there's a spill or you get chemicals in your eyes, on your skin, or inhale fumes. Do not hesitate to call 911. Notify management of all spills and keep people away from the area. With proper training, up-to-date information and preparation, and by carefully following written procedures, swimming pool chemicals can be stored, handled, and used safely. Okay. Here's the disclaimer. This video was developed by the Chlorine Institute and the American Chemistry Council, including safety messages based on information from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It provides guidelines, recommended practices, and other information for the safe handling of swimming pool chemicals.